<laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Goose Intelligence Sports Podcast Show. <laughs> hey man, I couldn't write it any better. I couldn't write it any better. The Saints fired their head coach. The Saints trade their number one quarterback, the best quarterback they ever had in franchise history. The Atlanta Falcons come to town and get their ass whooped by the Saints who are two and seven on a seven game losing streak. And all the Falcon fans in the world found my channel the last seven weeks and have been telling me, rise up. Ooh, the Falcon Super Bowl bound. <laughs> Man, oh, y'all came to the Super Bowl and got belt to ass. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Hey, like the video, subscribe to the channel if this is your first time checking me out. This is dedicated to all the Atlanta Falcon dweebs that have been trolling me the last seven weeks. I made this one for you. I know this video is late as hell. It's late. It's late. I've been, I've been, I had to work today. I had some other stuff to do to get around, but I made time to watch the game, and I'm, oh, 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 oh. it should have been worse, it should have been worse, Alvin Kamara dropped it right here, it was right here, it was right there, and he dropped it, he dropped it, he didn't want to, he didn't want to embarrass, that's his hometown, I get it, he didn't want to embarrass y'all no more than what y'all already been embarrassed, I told you, Kirk Cousins was trash, He's masquerading as an NFL quarterback. Ain't won nothing in Washington. He robbed the Vikings, and now he robbing y'all. And y'all six and four, y'all running around here acting like y'all the greatest thing since 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 God's uh, sliced bread. Y'all ain't nothing, nothing. Around here losing to two and seven teams. I don't care about it being no robbery. I told you you sucked. I told you. Y'all didn't want to listen to me. Oh, we six and three. We coming into the dome. Now you're six and four. <laughs> I want to see how many Falcons fans are going to show up this week to troll me. I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm here for it. Please show up. I would love for you to. This is a safe space. Please let me hear it in the comments. Moving along to some of the nuances of the game. Now, let me be real right quick. Let me be real. The Falcons did everything today but get a victory. I just want to know one thing, man. Where was this Young Way Cool back in September. Man, we could have used we could have used you to miss them field goals back then. You you made your career long on us to beat us. And the the, the, the I, I and I said it on the video way back then. The Saints should have never lost that game. Atlanta didn't even score a touchdown. Y'all did something today that y'all didn't do back then and won. You scored a touchdown today and lost. Ain't that funny how it worked? That's, that's, that's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy, isn't it? Man, the Falcons went up and down the field on the New Orleans Saints. I came from. Y'all did. Yeah, 300 yards passing from Kirk Cousins. He had over 100 yards rushing from B. John Robinson. He had 200 yard receivers. And you lost. <laughs> 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 you 
you lost. It didn't matter. You had the ball, time of possession, 10 minutes more than the Saints, and you lost. <laughs> <laughs> if this video is 10 minutes of me laughing at you doofuses, it's going to be that. You guys have been trolling me for the past seven weeks. I couldn't wait to the Saints win, but it just so happens that we beat y'all, which makes it even more better. Better. I told you, Lana, just keep winning. Cause it's gonna be it's gonna be even sweeter when you lose. And right now I got I I, I got diabetes sweet. Man, y'all lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, this is wonderful. Now to my Saints fans. I know y'all saying, man, come on, man. We won the game. We messing up our draft position, you know, out there getting these cheap wins. Look, I don't care. I don't care. Falcons beat their ass. Now, next week we play the Browns. Eh, mm -hmm. Lose it. I don't care. You know, James Winston coming back to town. Doesn't matter to me. You know, he's going to be on one. He's going to be trying to throw the ball 75 yards every play just to show, you know, that the Saints made a mistake. Even though D.A. is gone, I think he would have loved to rub it in D.A.'s face, but D.A. is no longer here. So will he cool out? Probably not, but <laughs> back to the Falcons. <laughs> the Falcons. That's what I call you. The Falcons. Yeah, that's what I call you. Man, how y'all let Marquez Valdez Scatley catch two touchdown passes on y'all? The man just got here yeah, last week. Last week? The man just got here last week. Y'all y'all letting the man just toss y'all around. How, how, how did that happen? Hmm? How? I told you this is a safe space. You can you can speak freely. Because I, I really want to know. Buffalo cut him. <clears throat> I think Buffalo could have used him. Because Amari Cooper and uh, Keon Coleman didn't play today. Could have used Vandell Scantling. But he was in the Superdome putting belt ass on the Falcons. Mm, it's just crazy. Y'all made Derek Carr look like a competent quarterback you know what kind of ineffective defense that takes terrible 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 i'm gonna read some of the falcons failures today kirk cousins 23 of 38 eight yards a pass no touchdowns, one interception. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Three sacks, a 46 QBR, and a 75 quarterback rate. Garbage. B. John Robinson, 20 carries, 116 yards, 37 long touchdowns. He had two tubs today, two touchdowns. Drake London had eight, eight catches. Dar uh, Dar Darnell Mooney had five catches. Uh, Kyle Pitts had four catches. Now, I said y'all had two uh, two 100-yard uh, wide receivers today. I mean, Derek, Drake London had 97. Uh, Darnell had 96. All I did was just, you know, do what we do at uh, mathematics. Just go ahead. And, if it's over 95, oh, it's that taxes. Yeah, if it's, if it's over 95, go ahead and make it even. But, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Still didn't matter. You lost, you know. Your loss. Caden Ellis, the former Saints player. Ten tackles. Still lost. Kirk Cousins had two fumbles. Thank you, Kirk. I mean, Saints didn't do anything 
today. That's this was crazy. Saints had the two touchdowns. They scored 17 points in the second quarter and then scored three points the rest of the game. They absolutely did not do much of anything. But it didn't matter because we won. <laughs> we won. Hey, man. Once again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and support that has been coming my way with the YouTube channel and the algorithms. Uh, I'm 19 subscribers away from 1,000. 19. I couldn't imagine that a thousand people in the world would like anything that I had to say. I started this YouTube channel like maybe three years ago during COVID. It was just a way for me to, uh, you know, get stuff out, you know? It's like therapeutic. So for me to you, thank you. I appreciate all the love and support. I have more videos going coming forward, you know? But uh, today is about the Saints' victory over the Atlanta Falcons. I've been telling y'all Falcon fans, look, y'all not that good, but y'all y'all not used to winning, so I understand you never really been there before. You know, I get it. But you need to chill out. Maybe you might win this division because the Buccaneers lost. The Saints are three and seven. The Panthers are three and seven. Y'all are six and four. Unless I see a uh, collapse come y'all way. Y'all going to get the division. Y'all going to get a home playoff game. And then you're going to lose. And it's going to be the same never-ending cycle. You'll never amount to anything. You'll never be anything. You don't have anything going for yourself. You're stupid. You're ugly. That's the Falcons. So, once again, Falcons lose. Saints win. And you got to sit on that to next year. We split again in the division. Same outcome we had last year. Anyway, this has been another video from the Goon Intelligence Sports Podcast Show. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you decided to share with me today. And I appreciate you for that. Until next time, peace. Bye, Falcons.